The deadline for a second debate between former President Donald J. Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris has passed. CNN proposed a debate on October 23rd. This would have given voters another chance to see the candidates debate. Mr. Trump declined the offer. He had said earlier that he would not participate. This means their only debate was in September. Ms. Harris accepted CNN's offer. Fox News also suggested a debate this would have been in October. Neither candidate responded to Fox News. Mr. Trump seems against any more debates. Mr. Trump went on social media to explain his decision. He said Ms. Harris wanted a rematch. He believes she lost their first debate. He said this is why she wants to debate again. This contradicts polls about the debate. Most viewers thought Ms. Harris did better. He also said another debate was pointless. He argued that voting had already started. However, debates have happened later in past elections. This missed opportunity is important. It shows how political events are changing. Digital media is more important now. Traditional debates are happening less. Voters need to be careful. They should look at information from many places. Voters need to make good decisions. Former President Trump said he would not debate again. He explained his reasoning on social media. He said that Ms. Harris lost their first debate. He thinks she wants a rematch. Polls show that many people disagree with him. The polls show that Ms. Harris was seen as the better debater. Mr. Trump also said a second debate was not needed. He said this is because early voting has begun. This goes against what has happened in the past. Debates have happened during early voting before. In past elections debates have often happened in October. This is a disagreement between Mr. Trump public opinion and what has happened in the past. This makes people wonder why he will not debate. Debates during elections are important. They give voters a chance to see the candidates discuss issues. They can compare and contrast the candidates' positions. Debates typically happen even after early voting starts. This timing allows voters to be more informed. This is true even if they vote early. Past elections show us that debates matter. They can influence voters even late in the race. The debates are a key part of the democratic process. They help voters make informed decisions. Mr. Trump's refusal to debate breaks from this tradition. It limits the opportunity for voters to see the candidates debate. Section 4. Impact on Voter Engagement Voter engagement is important for a healthy democracy. Debates are a big part of this. They encourage people to pay attention. They get people talking about the election. They help voters understand the candidates' positions. When a candidate skips a debate, it can make voters less engaged. They may be less likely to follow the election closely. They might not feel as informed about the issues. The lack of a second debate could mean less voter engagement. This is especially true for undecided voters. They may not get to see the candidates challenge each other directly. Section 5. Implications for Political Strategy Mr. Trump's decision to skip the debate is part of a bigger strategy. He might be trying to control his message. He may want to avoid tough questions. He could be focusing on other ways to reach voters. This strategy might work for him. It might also backfire. Voters might see it as avoiding scrutiny. They may question his confidence. By skipping the debate, Mr. Trump is changing the way campaigns are run. It remains to be seen if this is a successful tactic. Section 6. Conclusion. The Future of Political Discourse. The missed debate is a sign of the times. Political communication is changing. Digital media is more important. Traditional debates might be less common. This new landscape has challenges. It is harder for voters to get unbiased information. It is more difficult to have productive political conversations. It is important for voters to be critical thinkers. They need to get information from many sources. They should be wary of misinformation. The future of political discourse depends on it.